hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use regular expression with your Java swing application so let's get started we will first start by understanding what is regular expression so when you see on uh, Wikipedia a regular expression also abbreviated as regex or reg, regex p is a sequence of text characters which is used to match the patterns okay so it's uh, the technology which is used by most of the popular languages like c++ java c sharp and all languages and it is used to match string patterns or character patter patterns I will give you an example and then you will uh, come to uh, understand fully how can uh, this work so if you want more information on regular expression then you can just read this Wikipedia explanation it's a very good explanation and you can uh, clear all your doubts from here now let's see how we can use this regular expression in your Java form application so I will take an example for example I want to enter an email ID or I want an application that I have a text box so I will first take a text box and I will name this text box first of all I will clear this text and then I will resize it and I will name this text box as text email so when I run this uh, program I can enter or the user can enter anything here regardless of checking whether it's uh, the authentic email ID or not so I want the user sh that he should only be able to enter the uh, format which resembles some email ID he should not be able to uh, I mean type this and when for example he want to save this data the data should not be saved if it's not in the email form right so I want to check whether it's email or not and when it's uh, it looks like the original email then only this data should be saved to the database so I'm not going to tell you how to save this in the database but I will tell you how to check whether the entered format is an original email ID format or not so I have taken a text box I will also take a button from here so button and I will name this as validate regex for example uh, so I have the text box and the button now I will double click this button and in order to use uh, regex in Java you need to import some imports so go at the top and right here import Java so write Java dot utils dot regex dot star so it will include all the import related to regex or regular expression 
okay now I will go to my design and I will write some code here so first of all we need to understand what uh, an email ID format is we want to enter so an email ID can be an alpha numerical value at the rate once again alpha numerical value dot dot com some for example right so format of an email ID is like this there it contains uh, an alpha numerical values and then comes the add at the rate and then some other alpha numerical values and then dot then com or some some extension so for example a b c at the rate gmail dot com right so now i want the user should be able to enter this uh, format only so first i will define a pattern so i will declare a string and call it string pattern okay and what is my string pattern so i will first of all give double quote and inside this i will give the square bracket and inside this square bracket i will define what alphanumerical values it can take so it can take a to z in small letters and without giving space it can take a to z capital letters or it can take numerical values 0 to 9 okay so observe here that it doesn't have any space or anything bet in between so th whatever you write in the square bracket it takes the limit between the dash so a to z lowercase a to z uppercase or and 0 to 9 numerical value then we want at the rate and we can also define the length which we want so for example i want to give a length then i give this curly braces and for example i want the length between 1 to 20 so you can give the length like this and if you read more about regular expression you will be able to understand this pattern fully how to write this pattern you will be able to understand i just want to give an idea how to use this in java so this is an alphanumerical value then comes our at the rate once again the alphanumerical value so i will copy this once again and paste it after this at the rate and then i want this dot so i i write here dot and then it can be an alphanumerical value once again so i will copy once again uh, this this hole actually and paste it here but this time i will remove this 0 to 9 because this extension in general cases it cannot be numerical value right so that's why it's a to z uppercase and a to z lowercase and its length can be two to three letter long because generally it has dot com or dot, dot co or dot something that's why length is two to three letters so i have defined this string called email pattern and i have defined the limits or pattern and this pattern always when you match this pattern it starts with this uh, caps sign so give this cap sign here and at the end of your pattern you give the dollar sign so give dollar so it looks like this okay so this is your pattern of your email you want the user should enter otherwise it should give some 
uh, warning or error. Now we will define our uh, regex patterns. So write here pattern and give it a variable name. I, I will give it as pattern itself is equal to once again copy this pattern variable this one and paste it here dot compile and it takes this email pattern so just copy this email uh, string pattern and paste it here in the bracket and bracket closed so we define that our pattern should be this string now I will create a match so I will define a variable called matcher and I give it a variable name as regex matcher is equal to once again matcher sorry this is, should not be matcher but copy this pattern variable from here this one copy here and paste it here dot matcher and bracket closed and inside this matcher bracket here we will pass what we enter in the text box okay so what I will do is I will copy the name of my text box right click which is text email go to the code once again paste it here dot get text like this and now after defining my matcher and pattern I will validate it so I will give a condition so condition is like this if and then bracket and then these brackets and then in here I will write if uh, not equal to then copy this regex matcher from here variable and pass it, pass it inside this if bracket dot matches so if this regex matcher does not which contains this uh, user entered email id or whatever string if it doesn't matches we must show some message right so what message we can show we can show in the j option pane dot show sorry dot show message dialog and in here I will write null not nil but null and in here I can show my message so I can write email format is not correct so I, I write this j option pane dot show message dialog and I pass this null argument comma email format is not correct okay now uh, if it doesn't matches then it should show this or else it should show me that my email id is or email id format is correct so i will just once again give j option pane dot show message dialog null email id is correct okay so if this pattern which we have given here matches then matches with the entered value then it should show me this email is correct otherwise it gives me email is not correct okay so this is the code this whole code we have written for matching the text now I right click it and run the program
so I have this message or text box and this button so I give something a b c at the rate gmail dot and after dot I leave this uh, empty so I don't write anything because I want that uh, it should show me some error so I want to check it I enter the wrong email ID and I press this button and it gives me email format is not correct N it should be not here right and when I write some valid email ID abc at the rate gmail dot com it should show me email uh, is correct so yes it shows me email format is correct I can just delete this in between at the rate and dot whatever in between I delete it and then I see email is not correct so and in the same way I can delete this also and check and it shows me email format is not correct and once again and I click it and email is correct so in this way you can validate that the email the user has entered is in correct format or not so if the user enters the correct format then it gives me the correct message that the email is correct so in this way you can utilize this regex method to validate uh, your uh, text wherever you want to validate some data whether it's in um, uh, the login id or something else you can always consider this regex method this was just the, an example the regex is quite broad and you can search data or search pattern in the text with the help of um, regex also and you can do many things with uh, this regex regular expression so this was just an tip of an iceberg J i just wanted to make you aware that this thing also exists so i hope you have enjoyed this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now